a son is born. You know, this is the time that we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And in Isaiah chapter 9, it reads in verse 6, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. I think that's very important for us to remember as Christians, as believers, as the family of God, that the government is upon his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Praise the name of Jesus. He is ruling and he is reigning today as God's only begotten son. But you know, he was the first of many brethren. And as a person accepts Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they become one of God's sons. Let's turn over to Luke chapter 2, starting in verse 1. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman Empire. This was the first census that had taken place. So Joseph, so everyone had to be registered. In verse 4, so Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, the city of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was uh, pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. You know, this is the story that we're familiar with. Many of us are, are very familiar with this passage of Scripture where Jesus is actually brought forth. The Son is brought forth. This message is all about bringing forth Jesus, the Son of God, that dwells on the inside of you. You know, it says in uh, Romans 8.14 that all those that are um, led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. It also says in, in verse 19, if we just go down a little ways in Romans 8, that the whole creation, the whole world is just groaning and expecting the manifestations of the sons of God. And this is the time for those sons to come forth. Just like Mary brought forth Jesus and laid him in the manger he was a son. He was God's only begotten son. But we are sons of God. You know, it says that in 1 John 3, 1 and 2, um, how much love God has bestowed upon us, that God has given unto us. Because to call us sons, to call us sons. You know, it says in Galatians 4, let's turn over there quickly. Galatians chapter 4, verse 6. It says here that talking about the sons coming forth, let the Christ man, let the son that's in you come forth. You know, this, this Christmas is a time to recognize the birth of Jesus Christ, but it's also a time to allow that Christ man to, to come forth out of us. It says in uh, chapter 4, well, if we go back to chapter 3 and verse uh, 26, you are the sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. 
And in verse 6 of 4, because you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son, Jesus, into our hearts. And in the spirit calls out, Abba, Father, or Abba, Daddy, for you are no longer a slave, but a son. Oh, that is so exciting to me, that we are sons, and that we can manifest his glory in this earth. And that is, you know, glory in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Thank you for viewing.